Welcome to The Holy Yogi, where we help you find the spiritual guru inside of you. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. How you doing today? And if no one has told you today that they love you, let me be the first. I love each and every single one of you because love makes the world go round and round and round. And truly, love is the greatest medicine of them all. And simply put, ladies and gentlemen, love always, it always wins. And because I am so grateful, oh, I got a lot of attitude of gratitude that you are here today. I'm going to bless you with some information because we're going to do Native Americans medicine card reading. Are you ready? Okay, but before we begin, I need you to like, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 hit that notification bell so we can give you information every single day how you can live heaven right here on earth. Okay, so today we are doing, ta-da, beaver. Beaver medicine card reading, beaver contrary today. Yeah, contrary. So what is beaver trying to tell us? Beaver's medicine is building. Okay, are we building? Let's see what the message is for today. And here's a wonderful poem. We're using our wonderful um, medicine card reading book by uh, Jamie Sams and also women. Oh, let, me, let me get it right because I want you to get these medicine cards. It's by Jamie Sams and David Carson, Jamie Sams and David Carson's medicine card reading. And you can get it on Amazon. I'm going to try to remember put the link down below in the description block box. Okay. So builder. So, you know, beaver by the dam, right? <laughs> beaver teach me to build my dreams, including others too. One mind, one thought. Hearts are one. Lessons learned from you. Okay, contrary though. Okay, that means it's beaver upside down. Let's see what it's saying. If beaver has ducked his head underwater and is contrary, you are being asked to open new doors to opportunities and to stay aware. This card could also usher in a time of laziness or apathy. Find what is damning the flow and remove the impasse. The question that may arise when beaver is contrary are, now pay attention, number one, have I forgotten to allow room in my life for new experiences? Number two, am I willing to work with others? Hmm, number three, do I express my creativity by doing or just by dreaming about it? Are you sitting on those dreams? It's time to make them come true. That's what card is reading for you today. Those are bars. <laughs> Number five, has my mind created so many obstacles to productivity that I feel like a failure before I even begin? Are you talking yourself out of, out of it? Are you being, um, let's see, um, Netty nurse, no, no, netty negativity. <laughs> netty negativity, are you being that? Don't, let's go, we're gonna, we're gonna get through this. Meditate upon beaver's determination and willingness to work. Visualize the goal you wish to accomplish and be willing to work with others to achieve that end. Let me tell you a true story. When I was making my first million, let me be very clear. They always say self-made millionaire. That's kind of like an oxymoron. There's no way in God's earth that I became a millionaire all by myself. Yeah, it happened quickly. Yeah, it happened in 18 months. But boy, did I have a team. You know, I had a wonderful, you know, several business partners that came in and helped do a lot of those deals that I wanted to get done, etc. And more importantly, you know, I you have to do partnerships, especially with real estate. Sometimes you don't have the money. Sometimes you don't have the credit. You know, sometimes you don't have the, the, the team of contractors. You know, you can develop a, a, a contractor that can remodel a house for you while you have the, you know, the brains and the knowledge and the, and the, and the tenacity to put everything in geared and planned and make that deal work out. So you ebb and flow, you know, 50% here, 60% there. So, you know, that's the thing that I want you to really gravitate towards. Or are you just reading tons and tons of real estate books, but ain't making a move, okay? Not going through the motions. So the message for me and for you, because one of the key things that I decided to do, I was doing another business objective. And let me tell you, every obstacle came in place. I mean, <laughs> I was in this business for five months. 
12 major incidents have happened and I knew the universe was saying, mm, this is not for you. And so I'm going into the direction that the universe wants me to be in. I think I was focused too much on making the money. That's what we tend to do sometimes. What's gonna be a better money maker for it? But then in comparison to what's your destiny, what's your purpose, that's gonna make more of a difference in people's life and maybe not make as much money or even make more money than what you had anticipated. But you gotta fulfill your obligation to what your purpose is than what your profit is like. Focus on your purpose, purpose, and your profit will come into play. Okay. So I got I hope you got that wonderful message for today. That medicine card reading is telling you, okay, it's time to build. Right now, it's time to build and not sit and wait for the miracle to happen to you. Law of attraction means you gotta take action. After you manifest it in your mind, and after you put that positive energy out there, now you gotta take that action and make those moves, okay? So, you know, they say dreams without deeds is what? Dead, okay? So let's get things going, everybody. I hope you enjoy that fabulous message for today. Tomorrow, we're gonna do the whole opposite. We're gonna do build a standing upright for you as far as Beaver is concerned. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that message. And you like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what this medicine card reading is doing for you today. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace, hetapu, namaste. Have a fantastic, fantastic, glorious day, everybody. Bye-bye for now.